Hello, I'd like to give a little presentation here about how to make Maya UI using some old but dependable software. There's a bit of software called Melanie, and it is to be found at this particular website, exood4.com. A very old bit of software, by the way, 2006. Just go here to the main page, click on software, and their software is called Melody. Uh, don't ask me for the acronym, I don't know. There are two versions of this. If you want to download version four, it's the most stable. Five was beta and never completed, but four is pretty solid. Download it, install it, and you can actually come up here to wherever you've installed, uh, as I've done, and create a little executable to bring it up as a button in Maya. And you simply have to use the system call, so system, space quote and then start and then give the whole link to where the executable is in quotes and then a semicolon at the end what this will do when you run it you can also you know when you're when you're done and your shirt works fine just come up here to save script to shelf give it a cute icon like i've done and from here on out you should be able to click on it and it comes up automatically yeah with that 2006 graphics face so what you can do here is go to File, New, and just go not to Mel Script, but UI Window. And when you say OK, it gives you all the tools you need to do a window in real time, which <clears throat> these two are organizations, meaning that you're going to be doing things in a column. So whatever you lay down, like a button or a, a switch or, a, um, or one of those um, kind of sliders, it's going to go under the previous one. And this is a row layout where it's going to go in front of the previous one. And much like any hierarchy, there are things you can track. And this shows you kind of the hierarchy of how it's how it's how uh, this program understands it. So let's begin with just doing a column layout. You can see I now have a column layout. And if I put a button first, it just appears. Second, I'm going to put in a little um, checkbox. It goes directly under it. Now I want to make a row layout, which means that it's starting here because I've you know, got a column layout. This is number one, there's number two. Number three is actually this row layout. So if I do something like a drop down tab or a list and then text, it's going to go across or across if you're not from back to the east. And if I want then to return to going down, I can uh, come up here to the previous um, column layout and just uh, type in a slider and then another checkbox. You can see it continues going down. So it sort of shows the column layout here, and then it gets the row layout, and then it once, once again returns to the column layout, depending on where I put it here in the hierarchy. And of course, these are collapsible, so you can see them or expand them. Now, the nice thing about this is this, this is actually malleable. So you can edit and grab the whole window and kind of move it to what the sizing you actually want. And it reflects the column layout commands here on the right, as well as any of these commands. You can size these appropriately. You can change the lettering in it. Instead of checkbox, you can say slider, and it changes the name interactively. And I can do the same thing with button. So height can also be changed interactively, and the width can be changed interactively. Let's make that 100. And if I want to go in and just stick, remain in edit, I can do so interactively as well, and it changes the numbers. So really, quite a lot of things to automatically just put together if you want. And um, grabbing the text. And in the end, when you're ready, what you can do is save as, which is, you know, can be your little uh, Melanie window setup. I'll save this to the desktop so I know where it is. And then you can also export this as a Mel script. And when you export it as a Mel script, all it has is, of course, all the um, layouts that you've done, and it will allow you then to fill in all the commands you need to where they need to go. So I can save this to my desktop and just name it Test Window. And this becomes a Melanie file that you can read in time and time again. This is a grid snap so that whatever you edit adheres to a, um, adheres to kind of a a grid style, so it's it's not just going to be arbitrary, and you can also save, as I mentioned, as an exported script. When I go to exported script, I can say that this is a test window, 
it will save automatically as a MEL file. You can then go back into Maya, sort of slightly minimize it. And I like to do mockups for my development, by the way, so that I can use Google Drawings to say this is sort of what I want it mocked up as. That lets me noodle a lot more. So here we are. It's testwindow.mel. Drag it into Maya and automatically comes up. You might have to modify a few things if it didn't come through, but this is all operational. The boxes actually work. And all you need to do at this point is kind of open this up. I like to use uh, Notepad++. And you can just start putting in the commands that each of these things do. But the layout is now supremely easy to, uh, to manufacture. So happy scripting.